Hey, hey, friends. This is Martine Williams, and I am obsessed with all things Mompreneur Life and helping you to remix your priorities, your habits, your mindsets, and yes, even your relationships so that you can build a successful business without losing yourself in the process. I'm also obsessed with the killer turquoise and lyrics of the 80s and 90s, but that's beside the point. Girlfriend, you don't have to hustle 24-7, 365, and continue to sacrifice your health, your relationships, and your sanity to be a successful mompreneur. As a small town girl living in a lonely world to a six-figure mompreneur, I am here to teach you how. There is a better way, and this podcast is your one-stop shop for all of the how-tos, the encouragement, the life hacks, the success tips, and of course, a little side of tough love. This is the Mompreneur Life Remixed Podcast, so let's do this. All right, friends, this is going to be a doozy of an episode. I hope that you're ready. This is one of my favorite things to talk about because this is this is really where the Mompreneur Life Remixed podcast title came from because I firmly believe that we need to remix our priorities. We need to remix the way we do Mompreneur Life, the way that we create the life that we know we want and that is attainable but we have to prioritize the right things at the right time and with the right people supporting you through that. So today we're going to be talking about priorities and maybe this episode is going to be just a huge wake up call for you. Maybe it's going to be the the episode that you're like, wow, I didn't realize my priorities are so out of whack. And I really want you to think about this because One of the reasons that I'm so passionate about this is because I want to help you prepare versus repair, right? If we do the work ahead of time to prepare prepare for success, then we're not having to repair the damage on the other end of it. And some of you were in that repair mode right now, and there's no judgment or no shame. Um, None of us are perfect. This, you know, this podcast is definitely about progress, over perfection or even chasing perfection because perfection is a lie. But for some of you, you may have this feeling that things are starting to go in the wrong direction. So let's, let's halt now and let's do some preparation versus having to repair come the end of the year, right? Or the beginning of the year. So there's no freedom in a house built on other people's opinions and expectations. Stop trying to compete for the praise of strangers. Know that what makes you valuable is your soul. Remember, you are gifted by God to do great things. I think I said that on episode number one, but there's no freedom when you're trying to build your house, your business, your family life on other people's opinions and expectations. You have to get really clear on what's priority for you. And this is the work y'all that most people don't do. They don't slow down long enough to figure out what it is that they want, but also what's off, like what is making you off your game? What is making you off on your joy and your contentment? What is making you off in your relationships and the way that you're showing up for the relationship? Not about them because we can't control other people. We can only control ourselves and our own actions and how we prioritize them. So we can intend to do a lot of things, but it's what we make priority that matters. We can intend to do a lot of things. How many times have you said, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to like, like you're shooting yourself with your own guns, right? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But it's what you make priority because intentions are just intentions. Our priorities are what chart the course. Well, that's what should chart the course, not the expectations of others or what's trending right now or what's popular, you know, in our culture. What are your priorities? And the power to change lies within me and it lies within you, not my circumstances, because we can't change our circumstances all the time. Remember the E plus R equals O. I think I talked about that on a different episode, but there are many excuses that we've all made or make right now on why we don't spend time prioritizing what matters most. We can say things like, I don't have time. I don't deserve it. You know, when my my social status or my business has done X, Y, Z, then I can prioritize my health and my relationships. Um, When 
the kids are, you know, out of the house and we're empty nesters, then we can prioritize our marriage. And yet the kids, when you become an empty nester, you're looking at your spouse and you don't even recognize them because you haven't been making them a priority up until that point. That's a a whole nother episode. I'll bring Shaw on for that one. Saying you don't have time is like the adult version of the dog ate my homework. Like, I really want you to think about that. How many times during the day do you say I don't have time? And I want you to think about your kids or back in the day when we would say, you know, the dog ate my homework and that was why we didn't turn it in. I want you to start replacing with, I don't have time with, it's just not a priority for me. It feels different coming out when you say that. So replace, I don't have time with, this just not a priority for me. And listen, maybe it's not a priority for, for you right now. I'm not here to tell you what your priorities are. I'm here to help you pause and figure out what's priority, but stop making excuses and why you're not doing what you know you should be doing or why you're not making certain things a priority because it's not a time issue. It's just not a priority. And again, there are seasons where things are just not a priority and that's okay. But I want you to just flip the script on how you're saying that, how it comes out of your mouth will change how you feel about it. So we know as we go into the first of the year, there's going to be new year's resolutions and um, you know, 80% of all of them will be broken by February 1st. Why? And they'll probably try to restart them again in February, but because priorities, not intentions chart our course. I said that earlier. So resolutions are like intentions. You can intend to start your health journey. You can intend to, you know, finally start that business or that side hustle. You can intend to connect with your spouse, but They don't get you anywhere unless you prioritize the actions that are needed to make those things a priority. And it's easy when you're in the moment to say, you know, I'm going to do this. Like when you're pumped up and excited about it, it's easy to to say all those things, right? And then what, within 30 days, we've lost that, that drive or that motivation. And that's why it's important to have accountability. That's why it's important to have a deep rooted why you want to make these things a priority or why these actions are important to help you reach those priorities because success is not an accident. So there's a plan, there's a vision, there's a plan, and then there's implementation on that plan. Most of us don't have a knowledge problem. We have an implementation problem. So how can you set yourself up for success to prioritize these actions needed? Do you need a journal? Do you need to put timers on your phone? Do you need to, this is a whole other episode on creating a habit. I'll, I'll, I'll save that for, for later, but I just want you to think about your priorities and Simon Sinek. I love him. He illustrates priorities like this. He says, imagine life is like a game in which you're juggling five balls in the air. You're probably like, yep, that pretty much describes my life right now. Um, so the balls are called work, family, health, friends, and integrity. And here you are over there just trying to keep them all up in the air. But one day you finally come understand that work is a rubber ball. So I'm speaking to my work addicts. I'm speaking to my hustle hard mompreneurs right now. One day you will find, you will understand that work is a rubber ball. If you drop it, it will bounce back. Your business is not going to fall apart if you stay off of social media for 30 days because you need that break. You need to focus on some other things. The other four balls, family, health, friends, and integrity are made of glass. You drop one of these and it could be irrevocably scuffed, nicked, maybe even shattered. They don't bounce back. If you, you know, give 30 days off from being a mom, there's going to be some shattering. There's going to be some nicks and some scuffs right in those relationships. So it's not about achieving balance because you can't juggle all five of those at the same time and give them the same amount of space and energy, right? It's about what's priority right now. What's priority right now? So I want you to think about your to-do list and what you're saying yes to, what you're saying no to, what brings you joy, what's priority. And when you really look at the things you're spending your time and energy on, are they the things that bring you the most joy? Are they the things that are most important to you? And there's no way you can say yes to what truly matters if you don't learn to say no. And that's in another episode. 
by saying yes to everyone, everything that comes your way, even the good things like volunteering at the school and volunteering at the church and being the PTO, you know, mom or whatever you're like, even those good things, you're saying no to things that probably truly matter that you don't even realize you're saying no to exercise. You're saying no to rest. You're saying no to your purpose or your calling. And just because this is a big one, just because you're wearing your PJs around the house doesn't mean you're resting. It's fake resting. One of my favorite books, um, I think I talked about this one on a different episode by Shauna Nequist. She said, I fake rested instead of real rested. And then I found out that I was real tired. So who has told you that keeping everything organized and checked off your to-do list was going to make you happy? Again, are we sta- simply staying busy to avoid real issues and the challenges of life or to prove to others our worth? Is that why you're putting your parties on the back burner and saying yes to all of these things to prove to others your worth? These are like real questions that I want you to think about. And I want you to think about what are some things that you can take off your list? Like we create our to-do list today. Let's, let's create a not to-do list. Why are we doing all the things we're doing? I find myself asking myself this a lot, specifically for business, Um, like all the things I'm doing in my business, like, are they really pushing the needle in my business? Are they really helping me to grab my business or are they just busy work? And they make me feel like I've worked today. It's a false sense of productivity, right? And if they're not taking you closer to your goals or your purposes and how you want to feel, then again, they're taking you further away from them. So why are we doing them? There's another reason. There is a reward somewhere from somebody that is keeping you doing the things that you're doing, even when you don't want to do them, or, you know, they're not the most important thing. So these are the kind of things where you have to slow down long enough to put pen to paper and figure it out because no one's going to show up and tell you to stop doing these things. No one's going to show up and, you know, help you craft this out. You've got to stop and pause and get with your family, get with your spouse, get with your kids. You know, I, we love to do this at the beginning of the year. Actually, it's been a couple of years since we've done it. So I want to get back on track with it this January, but really sitting down and figure out, okay, what do we want to do as a family this year? Kind of do like a family vision board. And I'll do another episode on that too, but this doesn't have to be just you figuring out your own priorities. Get down, sit down with the people that matter most to you, that you spend most of your time with and figure out what are some things that they want to do as well. But when you wear the badge, of the most responsible and dependable person, more and more people will expect that of you. We teach what we allow y'all. We teach people what they can expect from us and how to treat us. We teach them by saying yes. We teach them that we don't say no and that we can handle more. That's what we do. We teach them how to treat us. And so you can't get upset with the person that keeps asking you because you keep teaching them that it's always going to be a yes. You're the yes girl, right? And so here's the awesome part. Again, when you, when you start to say no, and you start not being that misdependable anymore, it's time that you're not dependable because you're still a dependable person. Your priorities have shifted. That's all. In this season, your priorities have shifted. And if every woman and man on this earth is really honest, that happens a lot. And we need to be okay with that and stop doing the things that we've always done just because of their habit or because we've been the person that's always done that. I was just talking to, I think it was on last the episode with, with Brooke French, like the, the people who God has lined up to do those things, but we're in the way we're blocking a blessing to someone else because we're in the way, because this is something we've always done. This makes us feel important. This makes us feel dependable and valuable. We're trying to prove our worth, but there's someone else that needs to be in that position. But because we don't want to say no, or because we're not prioritizing what really matters in this season, We're blocking a blessing. And yes, you will have naysayers that will be all over your case for not for for changing what you've always done and for really realizing, you know, what are those big rocks, those big priorities in your life and honoring them. But they're not who you need to be hanging out with anyway. Maybe they are the relationships or the place on your not to do list. Like maybe those that maybe that needs to be on your not to do list. Maybe it's not a thing you need to say no to. Maybe it's a relationship that is no longer serving you. That should not be the priority right now because it's toxic and because it's not serving you and your family. Well, that includes family and that's a hard one, but that that's the, that's the truth because here's the deal. There will always be more work to do. There'll always be more laundry to do, unfortunately. Um, But you know what? 
we have clothes on our back to keep us warm. So I try not to complain about the laundry, but there's always going to be more laundry, more dishes to clean, more, more, more. There's always going to be more. And I want you to hear this. This is something that um, Sean Equist said in her book as well. The hustle will never make you feel the way you want it to feel. And on the other side of that hustle isn't happiness. It's just more work. It's just more hustle and probably more stress. So there's always going to be more for you to do, but God designed us as human beings, not human doings. Someone needed to hear that today. And to love what you do as a mom, as a CEO, a teacher, you know, whatever the roles and hats you wear, it's truly a gift to appreciate if you love what you do, but it also makes it easier to neglect the other areas of our life, like self-care like your spouse, like your friendships. If you love what you do as a mompreneur on the business side of it, it is really hard to, to rein it in some days, right? Because you're just so passionate about what you're doing. And, and that's part of my story. I need more accountability to slow down, or I used to, um, than I did to get to work. Like, you don't have to tell me to get to work. That's just in my nature. So I just want you to think about your priorities right now. And if you had to write out, you know, your three to five, top priorities. And I would even do it within like work. Okay. So what are your top three priorities for your, your business? What are your top three priorities for your family, for your health, for your friends, for your self-care? Well, self-care is under health, but you know, what are those top three priorities right now? And don't think, well, this is just what I've always done because so this is always priority. Seasons change. If you start, if, if your financial situation has gone in the tanks because of everything that's going on, then you know what? Your financial situation is going to be to be a priority right now. And so they change with the seasons and it's politically correct to always say like your faith, your family, you know, are, are your number one priorities. It doesn't mean that they're not a priority. It just means that right now you're in a financial situation where you need to focus a little bit more of your energy and your time on that, because that's causing stress. That's causing you to feel off. That's causing you to you know, say yes to things that you don't really want to say yes to and no to things that, you know, you don't want to be saying no to. So it's not a good or bad thing. It's just get an honest evaluation of your priorities right now and where you're spending your time and your energy. And are they in alignment with where you want to go, even to finish out this year, even into next year, depending on when you're listening to this episode. So I want you to list out the things that bring you joy and and then list the things out that you're doing. And then I want you to compare and adjust. Laundry does not bring me joy, but laundry is just something that's part of life. So I'm not talking about those kinds of things, but list out all the things that bring you joy and then all the things that you're doing. I guarantee you're going to find there's very few things on your joy list that are actually on the list of things that you're doing. So who do you need to say who or what do you need to say no to so you can achieve what you want? What needs to go on your not to do list? Those are some things for you to think about as you kind of go through this episode. And you may need to go back and, and, and start from the beginning again. I know I listened to some episodes um, on repeat because of the season that I'm in. So if this is that season, you're like, I know my priorities are out of whack. I know they need to be remixed a little bit before the end of the year, or at least need to stop and examine where they are so I can be prepared come January 1st. Or again, depending on when you're listening to this episode, you can get the plan in place and then start implementing So don't just listen to this episode, get the knowledge, get the encouragement and inspiration. What are you going to do different because you listened to this episode? Now that you know, when we know better, we do better, right? So what can you do better in this area of your, of your life? Well, I hope this was helpful. Um, You know that I am believing in you always, and I hope we can connect on Instagram and I will see you or you'll get to hear me on the next episode. Have a great day. Well, that's a wrap friends for this week's episode of the Mompreneur Life Remixed podcast. Thank you so much for listening and for following the show. It means so much to me. And listen, friend, sharing is caring. So if you love this episode and thought of some fellow mompreneurs who could benefit, send them the link share this episode or take a screenshot and head on over to Instagram and share and tag me at Martine31Williams. We are connected on Instagram, right? 
It's where you will get all the fun behind the scenes of my life and business as a mompreneur. Until next time, know that I am believing in you always. Thank you.